The majority of the tests within this actual course will be executed through Chrome browser. So what we need to do is we, as part of executing tests within the Chrome browser, we need to download something which is called Chrome Driver. So if you just type into Google Chrome Driver and you'll see the first link here. And what Chrome Driver enables us to do, it enables us to run our tests against Chrome browser. So basically it's like a middleman for interacting with the browser. And in this actual website, the main website, you'll find more information. And if you scroll down, you'll see, for example, the latest release. So all we need to do is click on this link here. And then we're going to go on to download. So select that. And then what happens is, dependent on the operating system that you're using, for example, I'm using Windows, but it's a 64-bit version. Currently, Chrome Driver doesn't support 64-bit version. So what I'll do is download the Chrome Driver Windows 32 zip. So save the file. Just drag, once that's downloaded, drag it to the desktop. And I'm just gonna extract it to the desktop again. And it's a simple .exe file, that's all it is. So if we double click on the actual .exe file, it will also tell us what port it's running on and the current version of Chrome Driver. So it's important that you always look for the latest version of Chrome Driver. So make sure you search on Google what the process I just did. And if there's a newer version, you can always download that version and just update it within your project. The second thing obviously that we're going to need to download is, if you haven't already got it, is Chrome, Drive, uh, Chrome Browser. If you're using a 64-bit version of Chrome Browser, just uninstall it and reinstall a 32 version. Because the Selenium tests will work with the 64-bit, but I think it's just safer to use Chrome Driver 32-bit with obviously with the browser that's 32 bit as well. So to download Chrome browser, I'm just gonna type in Google Chrome browser download, and then I'm just gonna put 32 bit. Okay, so we want the actual Google website, say so google.com. And if we go uh, this option here, download Chrome for another platform, we're gonna say, select this option here. So Windows 10, it detects your system select 32 and just basically download the file and install Chrome browser. So once the file saved, just drag that, install it. Yes. So just let that finish downloading. Okay, once the download's complete, it's going to start the installation process. Okay, so once the installation process is finished, the Chrome browser will open and it also create a shortcut icon for you. So in turn, what we would need for as part of this course, we require Chrome browser 32-bit and also a Chrome driver. And Chrome Driver is obviously at the moment we're not you doing anything with the XC file, but in later videos we'll be using this Chrome Driver XC file inside our project.